All right, Starcraft fans, let's do this thing. We ready to go? I feel like we are. It is a Saturday, which, nope, Sunday. Even time travelers cannot be on Saturday today. They're on Monday. Not dropping frames, that is good. <clears throat> Hey, RJB, new studio headset. Hmm, that sounds nice. What up, Gay Fish? Stu's here. What's up, Mr. Wild? Dead was here super early. Saw that. Nathan Schmidt got himself to second. Matt Perkins here early. Love Matt Perkins. He wants to see more Phantom games, which I think we can do. We can do another Phantom game or two today. That should be tons of fun. Choco Man is present. He likes the custom maps as well. I think everybody does. Super drunk. Ulu Bai. Corona bad. Starcraft good. <laughs> <laughs> and hey Oleg how'd you enjoy Ford vs Ferrari I haven't seen it Han's here what's up Han Keizo Breques online school Keizo is here ah yes working uh, schooling from home I'm working from home my kids are schooling from home that's about it I'm glad you enjoyed Ford vs Ferrari Hey, Detail Dad. Welcome. Another fellow dad, I assume you are. Let's move into March, though, shall we? We're still in March for at least another week. So let's do... There's one that I didn't get to last week that I need to get to this week. So we're on La Mancha. It is Shedlock Holmes, the Protoss versus Sensen. The Terran player. The difference between joining Patreon and joining YouTube is it's five dollars a month for YouTube, and it is anywhere from one dollar to five dollars to ten dollars to forty dollars to fifty dollars a month. I think it's around there. There's different tiers on Patreon, basically, if you want to support. But it's as little as a dollar a month, which gives you access to additional replays that I do cast out there before they see them on YouTube, which is nice. Uh, but I believe. The best bang for my buck is Patreon. I believe they take the smallest cut of the donations that I get. YouTube, uh, actually PayPal might be the best. If you just want to set up like a recurring PayPal thing, they take the fewest amount of, the lowest amount of money, but I don't think they have a scheduled payment thing set up at all. So I don't know. You have some options there. If you want something that's automatic and scheduled and does the most for me, then Patreon is the best place to be. Blah, blah, blah. The different content available, which I join. Uh, yeah, if you join the Patreon, you get access to those earlier uh, replays. So one Brood War and one StarCraft two game per week at the $1 a month level. And then there's other uh, rewards up per tier. And then here, if you join on YouTube, that gives you access to additional emotes you can use during these streams. And I will also ask for your opinion on things that we can play and things we can do out here too. So... And it gives you a little nice green name and gets your icon or my icon next to your name too, which is kind of interesting. Anyway, good stuff. Andrew, thanks for being a patron. I appreciate it. Let's get into our game here on La Mancha. All right. Good stuff indeed. Okay. So it's going to be Shedlock Holmes versus Sense in top right hand corner, the red Protoss player, Shedlock Holmes. And in the bottom right hand corner, it is the white Terran player, Sense in. to speed this up just a little bit. What's up, Donovan Ursley? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. Man, I just cast a really, really fun game between Terror and Zerg Boy. That's going to come up next Saturday. I think it's next Saturday, so like in six days. Watch out for that one. It's a ton of fun. I know it's not Beastu versus Jadon, but it is two incredible current players who are just doing super well and very popular, very fun things. Hey, Donovan, good to see you around anyway. Hello to Romania, Andre. Yeah, more terror. And he's off racing as Protoss. Spoiler alert. He's playing Protoss against Zerg Boy, who's Zerg. Go figure, huh? Go figure. Probe scouting around here on La Mancha. Man of La Mancha. I am the man of La Mancha. What's up, Rick Sexton? You're very welcome, Rick. I will continue with my schedule, guys. I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Casts every day. Streams on Sundays. 
Twitch streams on the weekdays too. I am very all in here. If you need more content, twitch.tv slash Falcon Paladins, the place to be. If you want to watch my playthrough of the Warcraft 3 Reforged campaign, that's where you need to go to see that. And if you also want to see me play the Halo Combat Evolved campaign co-op with Somicron, Twitch is also the place to see those VODs. Ah, uh, Earthquake Stories. Dude, like, Earthquakes are kind of scary on their own, but when they wake you up, it's weirder, man. I was sleeping, because it was like 7.15 in the morning, so I'm sleeping. And, like, the Earthquake happens, starts happening, and it kind of folds itself into my dream. And that Zealot almost got some scouting off. And... I don't know. I, it made me believe, like, the house was under attack by some outside enemy force. That's what I thought the earthquake was, and it freaked me right out. So, yeah, it was exciting. Knocked a couple pictures off the wall, you know, broke a couple pictures, but other than that, everything's fine. Like, my house was built in 2006, like, up to all of the latest earthquake standards and codes. So, nothing is wrong with it. Check the gas to make sure it's not leaking. That's cool. Uh, everything was fine. It was about 15 seconds of just rumble, 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 rumble. And, uh, yeah, that was it. We got, like, a hundred aftershocks. Like, literally, over a hundred aftershocks in the next two days. But everything's fine. I don't think... I don't think there are actually any injuries even reported from the earthquake. Like, that's how it didn't really affect us all that much. Oh, it's interesting. There's, uh, Croatia. Got, like, a five... We got a 5-7. Croatia got, like, a 5-2 today. And they experienced tons of destruction. Tons of buildings fell down. It is piles of rubble everywhere, and I think it's just because Europe isn't as necessarily well-built or prepared for earthquakes as, like, Utah is, because we are built directly on two major fault lines, and we kind of have to. Uh, but yeah, it was interesting to see the difference. Like, I feel pretty good. Pretty good about it. Did that SCV get a kill? No. No SCVs have kills. Hey, Umberto. Saludos. Take care. Philip Schwartz is here. I like the tank. I like this. Out of sense, and it's kind of cool. So we like one bases, some marines, and a tank. He expands behind it. He makes a bunker just in case of a counterattack. Uh, the tank has two kills. Marine has one. And then he set up a bunker and a missile turret. In case it's a DT rush, but look who's got Reavers already on one base. Oh, yeah, Shedlock Holmes does. Loving that. All right. So, Reaver High Ground is actually not bad here at all. Oh, it's bait. The SCV is bait, so the tank fire can happen. Oh, that's fantastic. So many COVID name games in the lobby. I, yeah, that makes sense, Oleg. I can understand what you're saying there, guy. Yo, I love this. I really do. He's making a barracks over here just because... It's like, I know it's the Protoss that's usually the aggressor in early game PBT, but you know what I'm going to do. I will be the aggressor. Oh, do it, man. Go Reaver drop the Terran. He doesn't have anything back home. All his stuff is over here. Yeah. Here we go. It's so, like unload right there. Kill a bunch of stuff. Unload back here. Kill a bunch of stuff. Dude, this Reaver drop. I'm not even sure why he has a Dragoon. I just go double Reaver, to be honest. Yeah, like unload right here. Buddy. Not in range of the bunker. Okay, that's fine, I guess. There you go. Get them SCVs. Get them. Get the SCVs. Oh, gosh. Don't attack it with the SCVs. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> SCVs are crunchy with a juicy center. <laughs> that feels true. This is really super bad. The natural base is absolutely shut down for Sensen. What does he have to handle it back over here? He doesn't. He's making a tank, but it's not here yet. Oh, that was a big hit. It didn't kill the SCVs, but it injured a bunch of them. Look at that. This is why two Reavers. I'm telling you. Two Reavers seems ideal. Meanwhile, the tanks are up on the high ground. This is a pretty intense game right now. I just... I'm not sure that Protoss has enough to handle, like, three tanks and a bunch of Marines is the problem. This 
Reaver has been doing some work. The SCVs are running for their lives. The natural base is done. So it's a one base to a one base. 22 to 18 workers. You know what you need here are just zealots. Are you making zealots? No. I don't know. Can you, uh, you can't let these bunkers come up. I think you need to go. You're on a timer here. Unload. No, 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 no! Ah! He flew right over that turret and then kept flying over the turret and then lost the reaver. All right, Shedlock Holmes. Rough stuff, guy. All right, we're going to try to break out here, though. You let the bunker get up. That's a problem. Good kiting on the tanks, too. Ah, this further bunker. Shedlock's real mad. And he leaves the game. Sensen is your winner. <laughs> In nine minutes and 36 seconds. Rough stuff. Rough stuff there from Shedlock. If he could have kept that Reaver alive, he would have been so much better off. Like, ridiculously better off. That was... I mean, look how even the resources are here. Units built is actually favoring the Protoss. Keep the Reavers alive, man. Hey, what's up, Antithesis? I do like Cherry Coke Zero. It is one of my favorites. I want them to put Cherry Vanilla Coke Zero out on the market. I know they've started pushing Cherry Vanilla Coke, but my freestyle choice is Cherry Vanilla Coke Zero. Maybe one day. Perhaps one day. Uh, we have something purporting to involve nukes and carriers, so we're doing that. Oh, sorry, Matt. Let me knock down my microphone a bit here. Just a bit. So if I yell, I still don't blow you out. Sorry about that. Okay, should be better? I think it should be better. I just knocked it down a little bit. Is this another craft replay? Oh no. Craft is in here and it's Mutalisks and Hasu and... <laughs> These guys hate each other, man. Alright, so team one here is Craft Dinner, who's talked a lot of smack last time I saw him on stream and um, didn't do super well. His teammate, uh, Mr. X, nobody. His teammate, Carnival, down here. And then OZ Noob at the 6 o'clock. Team 2 is the stream consistent. Wal Sharino. Well, maybe not him, but Waffle Stompin' is. Hasu Turtle is. He's playing Zerg today instead of his usual Terran. And Mutalisk's Dozen is playing Terran. So we're definitely going to, uh... Red versus blue, this sucker. And then, we're to, this is what happens when these guys get together. Craft Dinner will talk smack to anybody in this group. Mutalisk, Hasu, Waffle Stompin'. Hasu's more of the troll here. Craft just gets mad. He has not learned the lesson that you don't engage with trolls because you'll never win. It's just not worth your time. The way you make them shut up is just ignore them. Look, if they want to type stuff up and attack you, great. Let them. It loses APM. Hey, what's up, Lachlan Short? Uh, does the stream usually show up in YouTube subscriptions? That's interesting. I didn't realize uh, it shows up in the sub list. I thought, well, I don't know what I thought YouTube did with it. Huh. But yeah, about, um, SCVs have a lot of HP because they don't auto-heal. Drones and probes both auto-heal. SCVs have to repair each other, and that costs resources, so they get extra HP. It's the same thing in StarCraft 2, Donovan. What's up, Nathan Schmidt? Yo, yo, yo. Is somebody going for the cannon rush? I see you, Forge. I, where'd you go? There you are. I see you, Forge. Are there any blue SCVs and red bases right now? No, there are not. Uh, what the heck is going on down here? Also, Turtle, there you go. Put your guys to work, man. It's mostly for the concept of worker rush. Like, where if you send a bunch of workers at a Terran player, they don't have medics, right? And so they have to defend themselves. And they don't heal up over time at all. Very weird, Lachlan Short. I don't know what's going on with that. Ugh, Kraft is still so mad. Kraft, buddy. 
Pro tips. Pro tips craft. They might be internet friends, but they're friends, said Hazu Turtle. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. X, nobody's sitting on 20 APM. Carnival's sitting on 50 APM. Team Red is doing substantially better on that front. Oh, goodness. Hasu, Craft. You guys, for reals, though. This amazing. Amazing thing. Super Dave! What up, Super Dave? is what Hasu Turtle likes doing though, is getting Kraft all riled up and then stomping his face in with his superior team. I mean, Kraft has a point. It's like Hasu shows up with two or three buddies of his he knows are good, and Kraft just, uh, he's usually alone. He usually doesn't have teammates from near what I can tell. Are you seriously going mass drone, Hasu Turtle? I would kind of be impressed by that, to be honest with you. It'd be interesting at least, although he is getting gas now. My team doesn't care. They don't even scout. Oh, Peter Parker, is your mom okay? Oh, great. No hospital. Fantastic. Bemo's here. What up, Bemo? Hey, Bemo joined the Discord server yesterday. Be cool. Be like Bemo. There. Be like Bemo. Join the Discord server. Hang out. It's a good time. Oh no, are we debating coronavirus in chat now? Let's not do that. Let's just, um, let's keep it StarCraft related. Oh no, RJB. RJB, don't go in there. Peter, it's cool. We'll, we can talk about this in the Discord server. Stop making cannons, says Hasu Turtle. Who's making cannons? Somebody on his team making cannons? No. Uh. No. Man, this guy's struggling. You know what? I kind of think Hasu is actually going mass drone. He's getting macro hatches and sunken, so he doesn't die die immediately, but he's just making drones. I don't think he has any Zerglings at all. He doesn't have... Oh, he's going for a lair, though. Is he just going for, like, a million Mutalisks off of one base here on Big Game Hunters? Uh, I'm not sure how fun of a drinking game that is, Lachlan. Is Abject Chaos something I say a lot? Super drunk, I know because Kraft, I've cast a couple of his games now and none of the names are consistent. Like I've cast him three times and he never has the same teammates at all. There are never any similar names. I say Abject Chaos a lot? Aw, all right. Well, drinking game it is then. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, this Wraith attack is actually kind of interesting. Out of Waffle Stomping. I have not, Donovan. Not a single time. I mean, abject, yes, but there's abject chaos, which is a specific term. And yeah, static defense is maybe better in StarCraft than it is in StarCraft 2. I don't know. I just feel like Sunkins are exceptionally good. Is this? Oh, there we go, Spire. Yeah, so Hasu's just going for a million Mutalisks. That's all he's working on. We're tanking up here. Why? Is this Craft Dinner? Dude, Craft Dinner, you are playing Red. Yeah, 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 that's him. He doesn't have anything. How are, what? Where's your stuff? Oh, this is him over here. He's going for the DTs. Why is he proxying DTs over here? What a weird life choice, Craft Dinner. <laughs> I 
vultures are so zippy. That's a good one, Andrew. I think that's a good one to, uh, to drink to. I kind of like it. Uh, yeah, that's a good one, too. Yay! Philip joined the Discord. He's a cool guy now. He's a super cool guy. Yeah. Uh, Kreftiner, with all those proxy shenanigans, I don't know, man. I don't know what this is. The mass Wraith are just like, we're gonna murder all of your stuff. Hey, a single Goliath with Caron boost. Ah, uh, but there's Cloak. All right. Well, that's not good news. That is exceptionally bad news. If you happen to be somebody who can't shoot up or doesn't have detection. Yeah, where are my nukes? Nukes were promised, Asu. So basically, Craft Dinner went for a one base proxy DT build, which. I don't know that it accomplished anything. I like the scan after the Goliath is dead. Blue's doing something here. Ah, are those all Apostles? Yeah, those are all Apostles mutas. We got them. We found them. Bemo demands nukes. We got carriers on the way. So that's that's living up to the promise. We got uh, Greater Spire on the way. So that's very cool. <laughs> Asu's so mad. Asu, stop being mad. Just be happy. You're playing StarCraft. You're winning. If you're winning, be happy. Like, I understand salt when you're losing. Okay. Good call. But salt when you're winning is just like, why? I heard uh, Finnish is really, really hard. Like, on the list of languages that are difficult to learn, Finnish is definitely up there. All right, all right. So at least somebody's going something for Team Blue. It's uh, this Oznoop guy who has the best APM. Did say suddenly pineapples? What the heck is pineapples? Yeah, finish. Crazy hard. Alright, well, he's just building guardians right here. Which is hilarious. Hey, save that cocoon. Don't let it die. Come on. Don't die to this cannon. What's up, Barca Airsoft? There we go. The guardians are here. The cannons are in trouble. Everything on the ground is actually in trouble, turns out. Center is being held by Team Red. Carrier group getting fairly nice for Oz here. Uh, who's going to go nukes? Tell me who it is. Is it really just Mass Wraith here out of Waffle Stomping? I feel like it is. Uh, maybe it is Mutalisk's Dozen. Are you making nukes, Mutalisk? No. Hmm. Uh, no one's making nukes. Hey, I'm glad you enjoyed that one, Peter. Which one, by the way? I've actually cast a couple of mind control games recently, which is crazy. Oh, was it the Royal Stove one? Was it the uh, Crown Royale game? Yeah, that one, okay. Short Bus Kids, a good one. Bad things are happening. Trying to get some mutas out versus the million cloaked wraiths that are out? That's not working very well. Blah, 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 blah. Everyone's super, super angry at everything. I can't even read this. Craft dinner's out. Hasu's super mad about that. We're making carriers in High Templar, which is fun. It's just there's a million cloaked wraiths out, and carriers don't do super well versus those guys. 
Ah, uh, here we go. Here it is, here it is. Mutalisk Dozen is making ghosts now. And nukes. Where are they? Uh, uh. Yeah? Yeah? Can't figure out where he's building. Oh, it's over here. Okay, he killed his commsat station in order to make a nuke silo. Do the Finns, uh, do they have Lutfisk? Is that Finnish? Is that like Swedish or something? Reap the whirlwind. Oh yeah, baby. Lutfisk is Swedish. Thank you, Scholasticus. Appreciate it. Hey, what's up, Ross? Are you rapping? <laughs> My name is Ross Zula, the micro la, the old school la. You want a trip? I'll bring it to ya. Nuclear it's launch pretty good. Ah, uh, hang on. Nuclear launch detected. Where, though? It's gonna be red. These guys? That's where all the ghosts are. Oh, this guy right here. God, they're so hard to see. Oh, that one lands, and then this one lands. Great. Carriers decide it's time to go. Hello, Lawrence Quarantine. Stop, I'm just massing drones, he says. <laughs> Ross Pate bringing, bringing the heat. Guess what's here, though? All you people who've ever wanted to see cloaked wraiths against carriers, check it out. Ta-da! More nukes, please. Nuclear launch detected. Thank you. Ah, this guy. I don't know. Does that work? Carriers are trying to kill these guardians. Nuclear launch detected. It's another one from you? I bet it is. No, he's moving. This one. La 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 la. This is my screenshot. Right here. Is that pretty good for a screenshot? Thumbnail. Got a locked down carrier, which you can't really see. Got a nuke. You have all these explosions. We'll do this. Thing is, if I don't remember to do it now, I'm not gonna remember to do it. So. YouTube stream, March 22nd. Update the stream. And new thumbnail should be live. All right. Good. Uh, yes. Not lying about nukes. Not today. Just mass nuke over here, or mass ghost over here, which is fun. That's a weird place for a nuke. I don't know if I like this one. Good game, says Waffle Stompin. See, they're being polite as they destroy people who are way worse than they are. What's up, Swim Jim? Oscar the Grouch in it. 
Carnival's left. Noob is left. That's your GG. We're done. Sissa! Finished. All right. So, at the end of the day, points total is definitely a... Uh, well, it's a Waffle Stompin' Walsh Arena Hasu Turtle kind of a day here. Uh, Mutalisk does it at 52,002. So, yeah, the top... One, two, three, four. Yep, the top four. We're all on the same team. It's always a good time. Moving on. Moving on, on, moving on, on to the next game, to the next game. There's always more. There's always more than I think there are. I'm like, I only got a few this week, and then there's like 15. All right, where do we go? We haven't done a fastest, have we? No. I guess we could do a fastest. Maybe it's time for the RJB cast. Do you still hurt RJB? You want Scotty Zerg? That's the RJB cast. It is the yeah, it is Voss and Scotty Zerg on it, on it. We're gonna do red versus blue here. Fastest map in it. Let's play a total of ten games. Says Scotty Zerg. What else? Cool. Right side, red Terran player Voss. Hey, what does the buy designation mean? RJB, do you know? I just cast the game between Bai Han and Bisu, and I don't know what that means. And bottom left here is the blue Protoss player, Scotty Zerg. It's just a clan. Okay. Do you know who Bai Han is? Because I can't figure out who it is, but spoiler alert, he gave Bisu a really great PvP that's going to show up, I think, tomorrow. All right. Uh, am I going to play Gimli today? Maybe. So in the U.S., it is mostly voluntary quarantine stuff. Although California, I think, just locked down all the businesses. New York is moving to do the same thing. Washington maybe as well. But at least here in Utah and most other states, it's kind of like voluntary stuff. It wasn't a spoiler, Ross. No. Nah, Dad, you can be Gimli. You're really good with Gimli. This Reaver gets absolutely obliterated before it does anything. Uh, so Voss with the Marine pressure here as Protoss tried to rush to Reaver. It didn't really work out super well. Like, at all. We got another Reaver, though. That's the that's the nice thing about fastest map, is you can get a lot of stuff out fast. Including lots of Reavers. What's up, SC Rem Vids? Ah, do you do remastered videos yourself? Interesting. But yeah, as long as we're plugging people, Dead Infested has his own channel. Click on his name to check it out. He does fun stuff like who would win Devourer versus Arbiter. Also, RJB does a ton of fastest map casting on his channel. Click RJB Starcraft casts for his channel too. Hit a subscribe, doesn't cost you anything. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, alright. Alright, maybe don't maybe don't do that. Maybe don't walk into two reavers with your bio. This is why we don't see bio versus Protoss, everyone. So he's still do he's still doing bio! I mean technically he's getting siege mode and a tank. Uh, maybe. Yes, he's getting a tank. But man, this is a lot of barracks. Alright. Be right at the back, Mr. Master Vids. Alright. Dear my phone, I like that you generally push news articles as notifications to me. It's generally okay. But don't push page six crap gossip tabloid stuff at me. That's ridiculous. Why would I care about that? Bad, Google. Bad. All right. So we're just trying to contain the Protoss here. Again, containing him on one base doesn't mean anything. It's a fastest map. Meanwhile, Reaver dropping. Ow. Ow. Ow, ow. Nice pickup, though. Yeah, Google go in the corner now. Oh my gosh, one hit! He got a hit! He got the hit! 14 SCVs remaining for Voss. That was big. Right, I mean, I think the Reaver died before the Scarab exploded, which is awesome. I, 
again, I just, I don't... Does this seem great? Good save. Ah, unloaded it way too soon. Should have waited a bit. So this tank is a bit of a problem from boss. It's going to die, though. There it is. <laughs> it's just reavers all day from Scotty Zerg, who happens to be Brothos. Man, that splash is so much. He did get... Oh, he is getting the upgrade. You're right. It's done now. It is finished. Show me one of you that has all of your scarabs, please. So it is 58 to 53 total supply. Bigger army for the Terran, but better economy for the Protoss. Is he just moving out? Why? What are you doing? Are you going to A, move your Reavers across the map? That's a terrible idea. I don't recommend this at all. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Slowest. Oh, good. We got some shuttles. I feel better about things. Excellent. Shuttles and Reavers. Name a more iconic duo. I don't know about unloading directly in range. Okay, this is better. Ow! Ow! Six SCVs remaining for boss. Oh, Reaver drops. Reaver drops are so brutal. And fastest map especially. They are the most brutal of things. Lift it. Lift. My gosh, he doesn't want to. He's not want to save his Reavers at all today. Kind of feel like if he saves his Reavers, this is over, but... Instead, he's just going to keep A-moving Reavers up here. Ah, there's a Wraith, though, which is problematic. I don't think you come back from that, Nathan. I'm pretty sure it's over. That's what I'm feeling, anyway. Although, again, remember what I said about army supply. He's got a bunch of tanks, which are pretty good against Reavers. If they don't have shuttles to shuttle them to and fro... nothing. Still trying to reaver drop up here. That is a zero HP shuttle. Thank you very much. Two HP. All right, so that reaver's dead. I think the tanks need to go after the probes. That's what I'd recommend at this point. Ow! Down to 10 SCVs. Oh, sitting in the minimum range. That's so good. Are these hold position marines? I mean, this is getting fairly interesting, but I just... Oh, yeah. All right. So we're down to 16 probes now, too. So the tanks are doing work, or they were. There's only one remaining now. Scotty Zerk has the resources that Boss does not at the moment. Ow. Do not have any scarabs? Oh, he's building them. All right, cool, I guess. So we're at 18 to 18 workers. I guess that's one way to make a comeback is drop some tanks over at your opponent's base. He's got four robotics facilities. Five. No, five robo facilities. This is completely mass reaver. This is mass reaver drop. This is the strategy Scotty Zerg decided to go for. And I sort of kind of really like it. I've never played StarCraft 64, no, Donovan. It seems like a really miserable time. 
Like, I saw Artosis playing it, and he was frustrated as all get out. Which, in fairness, he's always frustrated when he plays StarCraft, so I'm not sure if there's much of a difference there. Rid of uh, Brood War from the list of the list of games available to label your streams as and your videos as. Artosis and I are maybe a the same age. Let's see. According to Liquipedia, he's 36. Yep, I'm 37. Same age. Oh, that's a dead shuttle. That is a dead shuttle. <laughs> And this is 38 as well, or 3 I-8, which maybe is some imaginary number. The shuttle desperately squeaking past. Trying to squeak on past here. These are so many of these buildings are on fire, but none of them are burning down, which is nice. Oh, look at the Marines coming in. Oh, they got him. All right, I think Foss wins this. Based entirely on those two shuttle destructions. Entirely on that. It's 109 to 74 supply. The Mass Reaver play is cute, but it kind of loses its effectiveness over time. Hey, what's up, Jorge? No problem. A lot of people have said it's not showing up on the subscription list for them. Which, thanks, YouTube, I guess. I've noticed my views are really down right now compared to what they usually are for the first hour. So, I imagine people just aren't seeing it, which is super cool, YouTube. I appreciate that one. That's why you gotta follow me on Twitter, you guys. I always tweet when I'm going live with these things. Don't rely on YouTube to help you out. Gotta follow me on the Twitters. Alright, so this attack is fairly well thwarted. Empty shuttle up this way. Did he get another hit off? I think he got another hit off that I missed when I was talking about Twitter. Good call, Antithesis. Very smart. Artosis is cute. It's true. The attractive man. Like a bit of a death push here from Voss. He's down 19 to 43 workers though. Holy smokes. Kill the shuttles. It's really important that the shuttles die. Yeah, we usually have 100 viewers by now, don't we? I agree. Usually. Point. I mean, Scotty does have a bit of a giant bank here, which is not ideal. The humongous army advantage here for the Terran. Ah, oh, good save on that Reaver down here. Ow, gosh. 
Shuttle, not quite sure what it wants to do. It's just going to flee. Need some more directed firing here. <laughs> well, maybe somebody taught Voss how to play StarCraft, SC Rembids. You don't know. Yeah, I mean, this is, it's not a huge army, but that's your good game. Wow. 31 SCVs to his name. Finally gets the tank marine pressure in to take down the Protoss. Gets the win. Very nice. Very, very nice. Good win there for sure out of the Terran player. Oh, killed a lot of Terran units with those Reavers for sure. Yeah, definitely a different match, RJB. I agree. See, Nathan appreciates it too. Thanks, RJB, for sending those in. Always. Always, always appreciated very much. Let's go. 2020 March. Let's go. Big game hunters with lurkers a la Falcon, it says. Is that what it's supposed to say? I don't know. Let's check it out anyway. Rawr. Top left hand corner, we have Team 1, Nozomi. Then we have their teammate right next door. It is Joss2K. And then we have Eshjaman. Team 2, represented by Zion Sunrise. We got Noob86 down south. Is he playing Zerg? Noob 86. And what does that say? Totkisha? Totkisha. Right here. We're going to red versus blue it, though. Let's go. Gerard. Super Serials. Speeding it up. Bumping the mouse with my elbow. Everyone's favorite thing. Uh, actually, Nathan, all the restaurants are open. They're just drive through only and carry out and delivery. So, like, we had pizza delivered yesterday and gone to the local Wendy's and stuff. So it's not shut, shut down where I am. Maybe it should be. I don't know. I've just been social distancing. Hey, I played hide and seek with my kids this morning. It was fun. Surprisingly, like surprising good hiding spaces that I had never considered before. Kids are smart. Kids are ingenious. No, I'm not really changing it up much. Well, I'll take my kids out to eat once a week. Maybe get lunch a couple times a week, but otherwise cooking stuff at home. Making spaghetti tonight. DT rush, bottom left here. Lurkers are already out from new 86. DT's doing stuff, top left corner. So again, you always do have to be careful with lurkers in team games, though, because the splash will hurt your teammates. Uh, Steve, we can do it. Yeah, we can do a fastest, sure. And spider mines are the DT's greatest enemies. Greatest enemies ever. Maybe. DT's trying to sneak on past at the top left-hand side here, which I like this idea very much from your Dark Templar. Yeah, Lurker's pushing in. There is an uh, Overlord here for detection, though. Get the comm sat. Or hide in the corner. Nice. Nicely done. Yeah. 
See, there's detection here, and there's tanks. So the lurkers aren't going to be super great anymore. Tragically for them. Kind of feel like Zealot Dragoon can push on this. Am I wrong? DT still hacking around. DT needs to take down the Comsat station, though. He's got himself six kills, which is not bad. Yep. Problem. It's a problem, Steve. Well, we're just going to go Hydralisk now and uh, try to save everything. But unfortunately, we're down to 11 SCVs up here. Really not ideal. DT oh, does get wiped out thanks to the calm sat. Right side base being taken here by Shushman. I hope those weren't dropper lords because they are all dead. I like the Hydras versus these Dragoons. But too many dragons. Uh, do I know the map Unto Dawn? I don't think I do, no. I haven't ever played it. What is he G what? Is he offensive GG? He's alive. He's definitely not dead. I don't know what he's GG for. Man, I love lurkers. I really do. They are fun. Joss calls the GG. He might be dead. Yeah, okay. So that makes sense that he's gone. And then the... Why did the Zerg leave? He, w he was fine. Wasn't he fine? I feel like he was fine. I don't think anybody tried to kill him at all. He'd expanded over here. He was having... He was alright. How many calm sets do you have? That is always the question. And Nozomi has left the game. So nicely done. Lurker's getting some stuff uh, complete there today. Three kills on that one. One, five on that one there. Shoop. Shoop, 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 ba doop. Like it? I mean, sure. I guess the Zerg left for that. Looking good. Looking, looking good. Let's go next. We have an epic TVZ with Viper. Somebody says they put epic in their own title. Kind of appreciate this, honestly. So we're fastest mapping it, obviously, here. We're going to go orange versus blue right side. Wait, is this fastest map? Oh, it is. Yeah, because there's a million investment geysers. Anyway, it's going to be Viper with 400 APM versus this guy, Archville, who has all of 26 APM. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work out. I, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work here at all. Uh, Donovan, play a bunch of different games. Uh, I love the Witcher 3 game. I've been playing the Halo Master Chief Collection out on Twitch. Been playing Warcraft 3 out on Twitch. A uh, bunch of co-op Far Cry on the channel back in the day, too. Oh, you know both these guys. Nice. I don't know. I play a bunch of Hearthstone on my phone. It's really the only phone game that I play. What's wrong with the balance on this map, RJB? Yeah, 
Yeah, the APM difference is fairly stark here. But I mean, it's not everything. If you're spending your money well. <laughs> Hearthstone is actually a Warcraft card game. So it's all Warcraft units and stuff. Uh, actually, Gwent is the Witcher card game. Oh, fair enough, RJB. I didn't realize there were so many problems on this map. So luckily, nobody's in 12 and 6, so that's good news. Not a big fan of Gwent. It's an in-game thing in Witcher 3, and actually there's a quest they give you where you have to win a game of Gwent or else this innocent person will die. And the first time I did it, I was like, oh, sorry, man. And he was killed. That was it. I, there was no faith. I was, oh, that's not, okay. Well, that's not much of a wall at all, is it, Mr. Archville? Uh, hey, APM's up to 118 now. He's doing stuff. I think priority should be walling off against further Ling attacks, but we're not doing that. This is not Twitch, Jedi Master. Definitely not. Well, 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 and some moon wells. Jedi, I, t <laughs> I stream here every Sunday. Uh, do I have any soul key versus flash? I don't think I do. Look at this. Macro hatch coming up. Proxy hatch coming up inside the Terran base. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Come on. Lings are still doing stuff. Hey, maybe, maybe we're walled off now. It is quite disrespect, isn't it? I agree. Jedi Master is cool. He follows me out on Twitch. I understand most of, you, most of you guys hate going to different places to get your content. And I understand that, but if you're ever interested in watching me play other stuff, that's where you need to go. Is Twitch. I don't... This is not gonna die. Like, it's gonna be injured, but it's gonna finish. Are you serious? That's not a wall either? Alright. Well, the Zerglings are a problem. Wow, you're right. He's on four drones. What the heck? Uh, alright. So the hatch goes down, which is good. Uh, no, Nathan. Maybe try restarting the stream? I'm not dropping frames over here. I'm consistently sending a lot of, a lot of frames your way. 60 of them, actually, per second. Oh, okay. Maybe it is just your ISP then, Nathan. Unless everyone else is seeing it. Alright, so we're a uh, four drone slowling Masson here from Viper. I really I don't understand what the plan is right now. If he wins with slow lings, it is just an absolute outclassing. So we have alright, we've got a vulture. Against slow lings, which is so much faster, even if it doesn't have speed. SCVs are here to fight too, kind of weaken these guys up a bit. This is really good. This is really nice play. I like it for Archville. Hey, he's droning up. He's on five drones now. All right, he's doing different things. Is there anything in that bunker? No, empty bunker. job SCVs. Get him. Get him, get him good. Alright, so further walling off at the front here with an engineering bay. The Terran player is uh, doing alright. It's 23 to 10 total workers right now. Walling off the front here. A couple tanks should be able to wreck that though. Does Boxer still play, Han? 
Is he retired? I feel like he's retired now. I don't know. Zerg Falcon cast leak was fun. What's that one, Steve? What is the Zerg Falcon cast? I've cast some Zerg replays. So there's the terror cast that was a lot of fun. Then there was the beast cast that was weird. I don't know if that was fun necessarily. It was kind of fun in its own way, I suppose. And Viper's up to 24, Worker's to 29 for Archfield. So, I don't know. I think Viper is definitely the better player here. The bigger army definitely belongs to Archfield, but as long as he's sitting it down here, it doesn't mean anything. For sure, that terror game uh, where he played Zerg was a lot of fun. You should check that one out if you missed it. Absolutely. The Protoss Zergen with Beast was definitely non-stop action. Jorge didn't miss anything. It's just basically the Zerg player macroing up. The Terran player actually has an army, which is nice. Really needs her tanks. He's getting nukes, though. I support this. I support the nuclear silo down here. Peo Labs here. What's up, Peo Lab? Everybody loves Idra. Yes, indeed. <coughs> Alright, so I think we're going to nuke is the plan. We're going to nuke all the static defense. Yep. So here's the thing. I've had a consistent cough for, like, the last year. Ask Somicron about it. It really annoys him. I don't think it's COVID. My favorite player is probably Jadong. Steve, I like watching him a lot. So nuclear launch detected. And, uh, Viper? I'm not sure what he can do about it, to be honest. No, like, cancel this. Cancel this Sunkins there. Push! Take down the two remaining very injured Sunkins. He's just macroing too hard. Viper is down 146 supply. He's starting to make Hydras right now, but Hydra versus Mass Bio is actually not that great. He's trying to throw up a ton of creep colonies to slow this push. Dude, if he brought tanks, it'd be so nice. Man, that nuke on the front was beautiful. He's trying to hold. He's making Hydras. He's working on Lurker Aspect. I'm not sure he's going to get to it, though. Sunken down. Sunken down. We need to bring everybody. You gotta bring everybody. And that's it. Viper taps out. So sometimes APM doesn't mean everything, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start it out with a 400 APM, an average of 227 APM to 102. And the 102 player actually ended up winning there. The Lings, the slow Ling spam was hilarious, but not enough to win the game. Nice, slow, steady, patient push from the Terran player. And that's how you win as Terran, is patience. 
Extraordinary patience. I got a PO lab here. Hey, PO lab's here, right? Bio a nuke and you win. Absolutely. The old one time. All right, we got a PO lab. It's 35 minutes. We are going to do it, but we're going to do it fast. Sorry you've been sick, Lachlan. That's not very fun at all. All right, so team one is Janu Janokuni. His teammate way down here is low. Then we've got NHKDD. The other team is hereby represented by, I don't know, the P-colored uh, Protoss player. Lee, 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 Lee. We got Wait Rose, who is Zerg, and then Mr. TX Fire. Got a red versus blue this thing, and let's go. RJB knows all of these people. Yeah, it's the fastest map scene, yeah? Imagine it is. PO Lab sent it in, RJB. Who, if you were here last week, know that he is TX Fire. This guy right here. So everybody here is consistently playing, at least, it sounds like. Jadong lost to action. Ah, Jadong. Check for cannons. Nobody's getting cannons. That's good. Hey, Falcon for President 2020. What's up, my campaign manager? How are you today? Hope you're well. So this is real bad, but then a million zealots show up and everything's okay. Yeah, that's that. Got a Stargate coming in from John Okuni. Feel like he's going for them carriers. Big zealot attack onto the Terran here. All right, glad to hear you're doing okay, Falcon Paladin for Brez. I mean, Bloomberg got a vote in American Samoa. I don't know if I could pull that off. Trying to kill this Terran player real, real bad. But this bunker has been the saving grace. As well as some Hydra. Or rather, no Hydra reinforcements. These are enemy Hydras. And Mutas. Alright, this is just a team up on the bottom right-hand red player here. Low, he's just done. Thank you for submitting your request to not die, but it was rejected. And therefore, you are dead. Falcon Paladin for President, why don't you just get Doom the digital version? Can they hold that off? I think they can hold that off. And they did. All right. And love is done. Really very problematic for Team Red here. Not good at all. That said, we are producing Corsairs like crazy to deal with the Mutalisks. And we are producing Hydras like crazy to deal with the other Hydralisks, I assume. Palin for president, did you just admit to having illegal credit cards? You can't say that kind of stuff if you're going to represent me on the campaign trail. What is happening right now? Ah, ah. Hydra versus Hydra. The Mutas are all dead. DTs not actually attacking. Or they just hold their hold positioning, which is hilarious. You know, if you actually attacked with them, it'd be better. Yeah, you could actually, California shut down all the game stops, but yeah, everywhere else I think they're open. All right, Stormer Rooney here, man. Trying to hold on, John Okuni with his 171 APM. He is fighting and he is fighting hard right now.
No, I think I need to fire my campaign manager and get a new one. I don't think having a dead infested Terran would be a good campaign manager either. People would be afraid. Wop wop, wop wop, wop wop. Wop wop. Remember the swine flu, though? SC Remvids. And the bird flu. We had internet for those things. Detection red. I don't know, but the storm drop is pretty good over here. Uh, we're down to 21 drones after that little storm drop. All right, so John O'Kuni is alive. He's getting storm, which is great. He's going for storm drops, which is very good, too. Liking that a lot. Just mass Hydra being produced down here from NHKDD, which I really do support. He's got a Hive already. He's got upgrades on the way all over the place. He has a Defiler Mound for plagues and stuff. Oh, of course you don't, Falcon Baladin for president. Why would you have such a thing? Nobody would ever do that. Hydras with 1 1 doing work versus Hydras with 2 1. It is better upgrades. Oh, he just made a round of drones. That hurts. That hurts a lot. All right, so reinforcing Hydras are coming over here. I think some of these are. Yeah, some of these are fires. Yeah, sometimes if there's a lot of Zerg involved in fastest maps, it turns into a hydralisk dying sound simulator. Yeah, I don't think attacking in here is the greatest idea, Team Red. Go attack somebody else. Go after someone who doesn't have anything. Defending. What's up, Leak Electro? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. There's not a lot of lurkers here, but there's enough to be problematic. Muta's going for a snipe. I, I can tell when Muta's are doing this. That did not work out very well at all, actually. That may have been the worst conceived mutilisk attack of all time. And these lurkers putting in some work here. What about the insane clown posse? Does painting your face count? Or do you have to wear a mask? Iowa is definitely a Midwest state, Lachlan. They make corn. If you're growing, if you're vast amounts of farmland and it's all corn, you're Iowa. Or, you know, Kansas or Nebraska. Any of those states. All right, face paint totally counts. It'll keep you safe from the virus. Falcon says, I just know what insane clown posse is. I'm not a juggalo. I have, uh, what's the phrase again? I have, um... Hey, Dark Swarm up, though. That's not bad. Ah, that's what it is. I have approximate knowledge of many things. That's me. 
a quote from Adventure Time, one of my favorites. Uh, might just be dead down here, though, NHKDD. This is also a problem, though. As Weight Rose is down to 14 drones again. So Dark Swarm doesn't stack. is spamming. Drop! Storm drop incoming! Yeah, takes Lee 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 down to six probes. Very nicely done. NHKDD is gone. All that's left is John Okuni, who is maxed out. In all fairness. And does have this happening? He's going after TX Fire. Uh, yes I do, Steve. It's always suck. Lowercase one word, suck. Wow, he's just dropping like a giant Protoss army on top of this. Interesting choice, I guess. Then gets the Storms off. Storms his own shuttles in the process. Uh, TX Fire is down to eight drones after all of that. Trying to snipe down the hive, and I think they might actually end up getting it. Yeah, they got the hive. That sucks. Well, we got ultras and hydras out here from Mr. Appeal Lab slash Texas Fire. I'm gonna call you Texas Fire from now on. All right, all right. Some webs up, everything's fine. It's just Jono has all the things. He's got Storm. He's got Reavers. He has Corsairs. He has DTs. He's got Zealots and Dragoons, obviously. He's working on Carriers, too. Hey, Mr. Fire, you go Guardians. We're 3v1ing this guy. We should be able to win this. not going to beat him by attacking him head on. I do feel like it's got to be Guardian. So is one of them going for Guardian is the question. Nope, we're making 12 Ultras, Mr. P.O. Lab. So he's not interested in doing that. Aspire on the way from Weight Rose. Okay, but this whole thing is not going to work out for you. Don't do that. this John Okuni guy is doing. He's really playing this fantastically well. This 
wiped out Lili again and continues to do so up here. He's gonna take down his last took down his last Nexus. Uh Is this him down here? Yeah, so he's got bases. Losing this isn't the end of the world, but it really sucks. Make some devourers. I agree. I think we need coordination, KJ Lee. Once again, just a big Reaver Archon drop right on White Rose's face here. Storming all over the place. like it. Almost enough for energy for a storm on that High Templar. Uh, yeah, I'm American, Mr. Remdids. Uh, Dark Swarm Ling Ultra dies to Reavers and Storm and Archons, so I would not recommend that strategy here. Yeah, it's really got to be coordination. I concur. We need to hit at the same time here. Did he? Ah, that High Templar came up and got a bunch of drone kills. That's fantastic. 24 workers for Weight Rose. 62 for Jakuni. Carriers on the way from Lee Lee Lee. It's kind of just abandoned this as a source of income at all. Which is fine because he has a million other bases that he's working from right now. With his 87 probes. I don't know what Jean no Cooney's like late game play is here. I mean, this is still happening. So Nexus Nexus is, is the plural of Nexus. Some people might disagree with you, but Nexus is, is the plural. And Scourge does not have a plural form. Scourge are Scourge. And is Scourge. And are Scourge. And will be Scourge. No problem. I'm actually also a communications major in college. That's what I graduated with back in 08. Pretty good against TX Fire, down to 31 drones. Guardian, here we go. We've got cloaked Guardian Carrier. Guardians are doing their best, but the Corsairs are really destroying them right now. This is crazy. I cannot believe what he's been able to do here. Jono is definitely 1v3 in this and actually having a pretty good time with it. Yeah, stay in the Dark Swarm, Zealots. Take down those Hydras. That's what you gotta be doing. Dark Swarm, double-edged sword, man. Trying to rebuild his economy here. TX fires at 40 turns now. I don't know. I think he's got it, KJ. I think he has enough anti-air to handle the Guardians that show up. What I really want to see are Devourers. 
to deal with those Corsairs, and then the Guardians will have a better time. I mean, yeah, why not attack all at once? It's a fair question. Don't, like, just ramming your head into the, at the front door here is not going to work out for you, White Rose, or White Rose. He is sacking a ton of probes to get himself some additional supply, because he was at, like, 90 probes. Corsairs are kind of handling these carriers pretty well, too, actually. They do have 3 3 3, by the way. Look at this drop. Just sneaking out. This one, too. He doesn't even care what he's running into. He's just going to show up on the mineral lines and just wipe it out. This one did not work. It is gone. Maybe another drop over this way? Is there anything in these? Probably not. Does red have a what? Hey, hiders are actually kind of pushing in here right now. Hydras take out the Corsairs and the Mutas can do better. I like this Hydra setup right here. They've got three, three. The Corsairs are all gone. DTs are trying to come out. That's not going to work out for them at all. Hydra, Guardian, and that's it. John O'Cooney leaves the game. Absolutely fantastic display here from all players involved. Nicely done by Appeal Lab as well, who is now watching. But yeah, Hydra, Guardian working together. We've got the Guardians from Fire, and we have the Hydras from White Rose. Make sure you have detection for DTs. Got a couple defilers in here in case you need a Dark Swarm or something. That was good. It's good match. Thanks for sending that in, Pio Lab. All right, unless anybody has any particular requests for anything I haven't cast today, we're going to do some team stuff. So let's look over the list real quick. We're going to play some stuff is what I mean. Uh, I've got some Hasu in here, but I don't think we need to do any of those necessarily. We've got a 2v2. Oh, we got that. That one already. This one is Sensen. We already did that. You guys have 10 seconds to speak out. If I haven't cast one of your replays. If you're here, you get priority, okay? If you're here during the stream, I'll cast it. If you're not here during the stream, once time's up, I'll move into other stuff. New Hot Warcraft 3 games? <laughs> Yeah, there is one called Hitler Dies. True facts. All right, let's go. Ah, crap, wrong thing. Don't mind me. That's what it says. There's a replay wherein Hitler dies. All right, multiplayer. Battle net. I just, I don't know what it is about Helm's Deep that I really like these days. I really like Helm's Deep. We're gonna do one of those first. It's gonna be hard to fill up, actually. We don't have the usual, like, 100 people we usually do. We might... Uh, I wanna open this one up to the public, maybe. We'll do this one with Sock. We'll do a fastest after this, okay? Okay, I'll be right back.
Yeah, see? We don't have trouble filling this up just with us. Alright guys, we might have to remake this just open to the public. Because we don't have, I don't think we have enough people here to do this. On Fortitude not to leave. Coke Zero. Public, no password, let's go. Why can't I see the thing? Bug. All right, guys, one more time. right up. Cool. Oh, wait. One's open. Frodo took it. Nice. I do not want to swap. doing some trades in here. I'm okay with that. Sorry, Alex. That's terrible news. <laughs> oh, that makes me sad. Being all social and it was going great, and then this happens. Croatia, you did have your earthquake today. I saw that. We had earthquake too. Wait, why are all the ghosts leaving? What are you doing? Why are ghosts going down? All right, bye ghosts. I'm going to try to get up here with my hero. Yes, Captain. Legolas sounds like Duran. Well, that's good. Uh, yeah, we had an earthquake in Salt Lake City on uh, Thursday. Oh, 
dash 20 kills. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. If Rudy and Donovan are having problems, I don't know what they're about. Get upgrade. Oh, I get upgrades. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. I didn't realize I got upgrades with Legolas. That's great. Yeah, good point. Thank you. I don't want to die the infested terror again. from the high ground if you can. Ah, Shag died to static defense. That hurts. It's not good at all. This is why the password is sock. Oh, purple's not playing. What do you need? Purple, where'd you go? Who's purple? Matrix, dude. I'll take care of it. Uh, How can I do come on, service? purple. Not enough minerals. I need upgrade minerals. Here. Good question, KJ Lee. Got it. Ah. That's annoying. So Matrix earned himself a name on the band list. Let's try again. Well, 
the marine is too generic. The siege tank is kind of generic too, KJ, which is what I'm worried about. Maybe something like a defiler or a high templar, an archon maybe. Archons are cool. Okay, I don't. We don't have. This does look better, I think. An ultralisk maybe. I just the thing that impressed me most visually. was the Archon when the first game first came out. I remember I was playing that first night with my friends and I was playing Zerg and somebody showed up with an Archon and was just like, blah, blah, and I was like, what? <laughs> what is happening? It was so scary. Yes, Captain. I still played Zerg. You got it. Of course. Get out of here, of course. Yes, Captain. You got it. Ah, uh, somebody left. Of course. Generic, I mean, there are other, uh, like Warhammer has Space Marines, and Halo has Space Marines, and other IPs have Space Marines, you know what I mean? No one else has Pikachu. That's not the kind of generic I'm talking about here. I like how Legolas is not attacking the stuff that's directly attacking him. He's very smart that way. Smash Bros. the best. Right away. better about things. Got it. Is it Captain Falcon? I need an 
upgrade. There we go. Six three 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 three. I agree. from way back there? Yeah, Space Marines... I think they originally came from Warhammer. Super chat, Gregoire. Wow, you're very welcome. I'll take 15 that. euros. Fantastic. Of course. Right away. You got it. Hey, what's up, Nicholas? That's not good for us. No one could be Black Ops. How can I do a not really my thing. Yes, tank countdown. Really important here. Of course I'm still here. I'm always still here. Yeah, get out of your tanks. Got it. Order my Brood War playlist from oldest first, latest last? Uh, I don't know if there's a way to do that with playlists in YouTube. Maybe. Ah, uh, the tanks are here again. Ah! What is this? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Did you guys give up over here? Uh, yes. Falling back. Falling back. I got super lucky. Yes, that's what happened. That was really scary all of a sudden. Like, really scary all of a sudden. Shoot. Not like that at all. 
minutes to go. Yeah, Brown's tanks are definitely a problem. Died. Oh no, we're not doing great. That's okay. I'm surviving so far. Stannis. Ah, uh, show version of Stannis though. Yeah, I need damage. I can survive by being tricky. Mostly. Die or did they go over? Oh, they went over here. Interesting. No gambling. All right. I don't like what we're seeing here at all. Got it. I'll take care. Yeah, we're totally getting surrounded. You're right. Died. We are losing big time here, guys. The good news is these defenses are real. Of course. I'll take care of it. 
They still have to take down the hinge. I'm not sure they can do. So many of my fellow comrades have died. How can I be really bad? and the other side dies so fast. I'm g I can't get over here is the problem. I think I'm cut off. Like holding this doesn't I'll mean anything. You got it. There might be a time I can slip over that way. I'll take care of it. You got it. Yeah, if you've got a hero, maybe let's fall back to the I'll cave if we can. It. This is weird. Yes, Captain. This is the weirdest game I've played for sure. All right, you hold an amendment. You be the hero today. I wonder if I can sneak. Wait, what? Go! Of course. Your forces are under attack. Ah! Right away. Of course. Right away. Got it. Oh my gosh, right go! this this is oh crap like the gates are down what the crap why are the gates down the gates aren't supposed to be down this is still the hinge is still up White has to raise them? Who's white? I think our white might be dead is the problem here. This is absolute bullcrap. Those gates are supposed to be up. If the gates were up, I would have survived. White GG'd so the gates aren't up. Beautiful. Thanks, White. You're the best. Couldn't ask for a better teammate. I can't believe this is still held. That's the hilarious thing. I don't know that I carried, but I was doing okay. Hinges down. Fastest map streamer? Yeah, I wouldn't mind, Austin. If you want to send me his replays? <laughs> that was dumb. That was really dumb. Stupid people leaving early. 
Blah. I'm gonna do it again. Uh, my email address is falconpaladin at gmail.com, Austin. Shag got in there and killed the women. You only got me, P.O. Lab, because the gates were down instead of being up. That was the only reason. I escaped. I barely escaped with my life. That's all I'm going to say about it. Ridiculous. I don't want to do it again, but I also want to do a fastest map. So let's do a fastest real quick. Super with it. All alone is Aragorn. Yeah, well done, Amendment. Fantastic job. Password sock. Top versus bottom, 3v3. This should be good. I killed everybody on Phantom last week, PO Lab. <laughs> Um, I was mean. Nah, that chair is always there. It's just, uh, usually not super visible, but it's in a weird place today, so it is visible now. I killed. If everybody wants to get their revenge on me, they can absolutely do that. Should we do a 4v4? Do we have a 4v4 fastest? No, this is this is a 4v4. Why is this only 3v3? Hold on, try again. Yeah, GG already, Ross. Absolutely. Because it's only a six player map. What the heck? Eight player map? Styler? Sure, we'll do Styler. Eight player. Spooky, scary skeletons. Yada dun dun dun. Ba boom. have enough spots for everybody where were all you people when we were doing the thing all right well, let's do it then everyone goes for me first i'm all used to it that's why i sunk it up Lab's gonna go after me. Maybe. Oh, he's on my team though. He can't. Ha <laughs> ha! I am very much all alone. It's true. Traditionally tough spot, Falcon. It's okay. 
I can do it. Now I've got the spooky, scary skeleton song in my head. Spooky, scary skeletons are riding. Ah, I don't know what it is. I don't know the words is the problem. There's a zealot rush coming. <laughs> nah, I'll survive, I believe. My survivabilities here. I haven't really been able to macro because I've been walling off so hard, but it kept me alive, maybe? Wow, a lot of there, too. Barracks good. Not have any of those. Getting a little laggy. You know, just a little bit laggy. Under 
Soldier versus Tank. Success. like 90 it's usually 90 if I'm trying but I'm playing pretty slow here today can feel it in my bones Muta's out. <laughs> me last this long. Oh, well, all right. Good to know. So I walled off real hard. Real hard. and they all got stormed I sure did That's exactly what happened all forces are under attack What else would happen other than that? All forces 
Annex's golden life is always to kill me first, no matter what else happens. Oh, did all of those die? Uh, could really use some help. I don't have anything left, but there's only a few zealots in my base. You're dead. You being dead at all. Uh, Red has some tanks. About it. doing things. The reaper drops are destroying pink here. That's very nice to see. Rally, 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 rally. Tanks on the hill. There we go. That's where we live. Tank dropping, doing some good stuff. Drop so just brutal, like life changingly brutal here. Brown is 
pretty well. I don't know, he pulled his drones fairly well. I'm not sure what Purple's up to other than turtling like crazy. But all of us are still alive, technically. the map limit <laughs> what a great teammate dying fast That's what I'm here for kill the lab is there a dog yes that's true it did happen at the show oh heal lab that one Extraordinarily lucky. GG Sock. Thanks for helping. Mechanics is out. That's it. <sighs> Revenge exacted. <laughs> this stupid game. <laughs> Thank you, everybody on my team, for saving my butt. Who's Barracks? Who are you? With a 270 APM. It's pretty, pretty good, I would argue. Let's see, my economy was better than Hanix's. That's good. Uh, better than Sock Noobs and Renji's somehow. Huh. Ow. Oh, RJB? Thanks for saving us, RJB. Thanks for letting me almost die. That was great, too. That was your Vulture Micro. Uh, I do a Phantom. Is it a time for a Phantom? Do we feel good about a Phantom? Let's do a Phantom. Yeah, you sh oh, it's doing this thing again. I don't see anything sometimes. Great bug, Blizzard. Really nice. Really nice bug there. <laughs> Feel lab, it was nothing personal. I killed so many people. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, you guys. It's freaking out on me. 
There we go. All right, we're back. Worst was you didn't hit. What are you talking about? I didn't hit. Okay, here we go. This is going to be interesting. If I get Phantom, we just need to restart because there are too many people that can see my screen and screw it up. So, Falcon will never be Phantom in this, unfortunately. It'd be fun. There's no cover blown timer. And Barracks got insta dropped. Cool. That's very cool. What happened, RJB? Oh, he was the Phantom. <laughs> RJB can't be the Phantom either. Agreed. RJB and Falcon can't do it. Pokeball. Hmm. Alright, let's go again. Alright, Falcon Paladin for President, don't die at the Walmart. I need you to run my campaign, but get rid of those fake credit cards you have buried in the backyard in a shoebox. That's true. 25% chance the game gets remade is a pretty high chance. That's okay. We can remake pretty fast. Not me. Probably. <laughs> it's barracks. Someone is lagging already. That's not a good sign. How do people have such bad internet in 2020 that they're lagging through How? I guess people are still on dial-up out there in the world. Like, AOL still has customers in rural parts of America. Why is yellow suspicious, Annex? Oh, because it's barracks? <laughs> I mean, obviously the smart way to play this, which we saw Hennix do last week, was just don't build anything for a while. Sit on your money until everyone's distracted killing everybody else. Hope you don't get picked. SPs can't possibly be throttling bandwidth enough to ruin Brood War. It's Brood War. This can't be that demanding on bandwidth requirements. Right? if you have cable internet, is sharing your bandwidth. There has got to be enough to handle StarCraft, right? Am I right or am I left? I am left. All right, Rastadas. <laughs> Rastabas. I am left it is. <laughs> What's up, Simon Lloyd? How you doing, good sir? Welcome to the stream. I'm sure you would have, Hanix. I love you too. Now, Netflix streaming does take a lot of resources. A lot of bandwidth. Especially if they're streaming 4K, which, goodness people, come on. 
We don't really need 4K streaming. HD is fine, isn't it? Phantom. Just now getting a cyber core. Blue. White's expanding. Pretty early. It's a good point. And blue's taking middle. Interesting. Hutter just came in to tell me she's going to sweep the floor, so that's very nice. We require more minerals. Hunter's Amendment. This is not big game hunters. This is regular style hunters. Uh, it does. It's probably far away, though. Like, you, like, some of these bases, you can't get your minerals and your gas with one command center or nexus or whatever. Oh, you're right. It doesn't. What the crap? Never mind, I take it all back. You don't have a guess for reasons. This is yours in the middle? That's garbage. I'm with you, that sucks. You guys all watching? Panix is turtling up for reasons. And he hasn't expanded either. That is tricky. Attacking? Who's attacking? Oh, it's something. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. You can do that if you want, people. Teal is very quiet. very quiet. Yeah, I don't like what Blue is doing in the middle here very much. He doesn't have an expansion. He's aggressively taking the metal with a million cannons. Should we just kill Blue, everyone? What do we think? 
Yeah, just for the sake of he's not being very, a very good neighbor. Yeah, but you didn't have any army last time either. has a case, KJ. How that goes. Took my gas. Excellent argument to be made. He did, in fact, take your gas. He hasn't left yet, mind you. All those killing stuff. He's going mass raid? Is that RJB again? There's no freaking way. That sucks. Wait, is RJB killing someone? Everybody get yellow! Take forever if you're Zerg. Finally, 2-2 two, two is done. Jeez. I don't know. He's not putting up much of a fight.
Cybob has left the game. What the heck? Why did Cybob leave the game? to kill me every time we do any of these. Not happening. For heaven's sakes, overlords. It wasn't orange, so who has big scary army? still alive. They get hacks. guys do I kill? What do you think? Did you kill Teal? He doesn't have anything. I don't see anybody with anything that's a threat whatsoever here. Might be Brown. Brown just has a ton of stuff. Alright, well, he's the biggest threat anyway, so we're doing that. Good upgrades. 
true. I never got overlord speed. <laughs> I thought for sure I'd gotten overlord speed. Goodness gracious me. He was not rallying to the middle. I don't know which one it is. Maybe this one. Sorry, Amendment, you were just the biggest and scariest army. That's all. Our forces are under attack. I have no idea who it is. This is nothing personal. You just had the biggest and the most stuff. So that's all it is. It's not me, you guys. What are we, 20 minutes into this thing? I kill all your pylons? Fine, go. Evolution complete. But Brown, where's Brown? You mean? I can't see anything of the other players. I've never been able to. So, are you still around, Amendment? Uh, ah, I see. This is a problem. <laughs> you can watch on the stream. Oh, this is ridiculous. in Phantom. Teal has been extraordinarily quiet. Alright, this is ridiculous at this point. Forces are under attack. We require more Vespine gas. Good. 
Da, 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 da. <laughs> what we've learned here, the Falcon is really bad at figuring out who the Phantom is. That's been the entire lesson of today. And last week too. I think it's Teal. I mean, like, Teal is pretty scary at the moment for no reason at all. Alright, we're allying, White. I believe you. We require I swear, Renji, if it's you, though. Don't nuke my stuff. That's not okay. Go nuke someone who's already dead. Ah! Where did all those guys come from? Crikey. forces are under attack. Sock noob was him. It was Sock noob. Did I get nightest? Did I get drops? I got nightest. So that's cool. I'm down. It was Sock Noob. You're right. Gayfish was correct. He was quiet the whole time. Tanks. Everybody was the victim here in Phantom Mode. That's how this works. Well, this time at least, I mean, the Phantom didn't win, so that's some kind of a bonus. Thank you, Tanks. Thank you, Renji, for saving us all. Couldn't have done it without RJB. What does that mean? Where are said Zerg buildings that are still alive? on you early. How? What did RJB say? See. Where is his stuff, you guys? I don't like this at all. Got units pretty much everywhere. There's overlords. We don't have to kill those, do we? Ah, there's this thing here. An extractor. <laughs> Sorry, Oleg. Wasn't gonna happen. No peace allowed in the center. <laughs> oh, Lachlan, are you Sock Noob? I didn't even know that. GG. That was a ton of fun. Great job. Great job. I won. Look at me win. With my 61 APM. Oh, yeah. How did I produce more than the Phantom? You were hiding exceptionally well, Lachlan. <laughs> Yeah, resources told the story there, didn't they? Hmm. I can totally lose, Oleg. I lost last week, remember that?
All right. Thanks, everyone. That was a ton of fun. I got to go, though. It is time to go hang out with the kids, do some family stuff for Sunday. And thanks, for everybody, for being here. Thank you for the super chats. I appreciate it. And everybody stay safe and healthy. We'll be back next week. Um, if you want to know when, this page right here will have a countdown. So bookmark it. Check it. And be here next week. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Love you all. And we'll be back next week. Bye.